2015 Idols SA winner Garabo Mukhane in an interview with Chisa Life revealed that he is working on an EP that he will be releasing independently without the backing of his big record company. The singer said one important rule of making music was being in the right space, which he was as a man who recently paid Lobola for his wife. There was the first Lobola, which happened last year in December. This recent event was actually the second and final stage of paying Lobola for her. I could have proposed in private, but doing it there in front of both families made it even more meaningful, I think, he said. Karabo also talked about how hard it is to make music. I'll be honest and say it's not easy at all, but I believe in the long run it will be worth it. I think the fear that many people have, I had the same fear, was how I'm going to do it by myself. But the truth is, you will never know how to do it if you never start. Like if you don't go and ask the right questions, and yes, you'll make a few mistakes here and there, and that's understandable, because it's your first time. Garabo shared. About the new EP, he says it has some West African sounds, authentic South African sounds, and a bit of international influence. A high tea squad and welcome to the tea world. Uh, due to COVID-19, a uh, production of many movies was paused or stopped altogether. It is only now that many productions are learning to work around the pandemic and measures taken to stop its spread, which were said to be filmed and released in 2020, are now being released. I Am All Girls is a South African movie that will be coming to Netflix this May. It has so many local faces that we have all come to know and love. Those faces include Novelo Makanya and Lubimboya, who will portray the same character, but at different stages of the character's life. You will recognize Novelo as Lindiwe from Scandal and Lubi as Isidingo's Nandipa, as well as many other films they have acted in. Other entertainers that will feature in the movie include housekeepers Masasa Mbangeni and Mutusi Mohan, who was Boston in the Grammy Award-winning movie Tsozi. The movie is directed by Donovan Mersh. With a cast like this, the movie is promising to be a great one. I, for one, am excited to see more and more local productions on Netflix. I hope you are too, T-Squad. Do leave your comments down below. I love you.